Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to replace this Mercedes-Benz W212 series oil filter and we need now some of these tools especially this oil filter cover opening tool, tool is really critical and then we need also this smaller size wrench and this socket what fits in this inner part and of course oil filter and I always recommend original oil filter but now I have this aftermarket filter what is also better op option but original part is the best one and then we need torch tool because this Mercedes-Benz oil filter cover it is plastic okay and then we start this job okay and then I like to show those tools what I have to purchase before of this oil filter replace and especially this tool is really critical this is like this oil filter cover opening tool and now we need to purchase tool what this diameter is millimeters and then there must to be 14 of these corners in here and this same tool fits to this Mercedes-Benz and also in Audi and BMW cars but let's look that tool more closer and this tool must to be sides that this length from this plane to that plane is 74 millimeters and there must to be 14 of these corners in this inner area and this is really critical and please check that you have just 74 millimeter and 14 those corners this oil filter tool this is this is the first thing and then we have to get the smaller sides of this range tool what goes in this inner area in this way this is critical and this tool size is I I use my measurement tool next this measurement tool is excellent I can recommend Mitoyo Digimated Caliper from Japan and using this tool I can measure this size firstly I open and then reset and this this bar size is seven or sorry nine point four seven millimeters is this area and and we need and actually when I measured it in different position it is nine point six two millimeters is this this tools outer area and this part fits in directly in here and also we can see in this inner area that there are stamps 76 and 14 in here in this steel area and this tool is the must and now when we have this this bar what fits in here we also need some wrench that we can open this oil filter and we need a little bit lo longer wrench because this oil filter cover is is tight and then we need also new oil filter and it is good to always compare this oil filter to that older oil filter but now I like to show that this is this type and especially this length is critical in here and then this diameter 
and and now I believe that in my engine this type man filter fits, but always original Mercedes part is the best one. And I will next purchase the original, but now I have this aftermarket part and then there are three seals but I have to install this oil filter cover two of those smaller sides in here and this is like bigger and two of these smaller and soon we install these gaskets also and final step is that we have to use now this torch French tool because this Mercedes Benz oil filter cover is plastic and it is weak, weak part and we can use of course our hand but then we have to be sure that this cover is enough tight and there is no any oil leaks and this force what we use is 20 newton meters and now I set up this already in here in memory 20 newton meters and this is set button and now we can see that there's 20 newton meters this force and my torch tool is ready for use and then we go to take that old oil filter away and let's go to do that job next okay and then when we look this mercedes bench engine we have to look in that area and now in that my engine this is like training engine because some parts are missing but this part is oil filter in here and let's go to look that closer and here we have this oil filter this is it is this part in here and next we open that okay and there is this my tool this oil filter tool and now I install this my tool in this position and now when I carefully I press that in down it goes nicely in there and then this opening direction is in that way in this way now this filter opens and we can look closer this part now we can see very well is my tool there's this cover and opening direction is in that way and then when I install my tool a little bit I have to install in and this is opening direction and now this filter it is it is free and then remember that this part this tool can be to be stuck and in that area it is good to take that away and we can also lubricate this part in oily because otherwise these two parts can be really stuck and they are difficult to take out remember that but now I rotate that in free now we have bigger view and now I rotate that and carefully this part takes contact in these hoses and that's a little bit movement and now this oil filter this full element is free and then we can go to look that closer this part and this is totally oily and use close with this part okay and then when I have take this my oil filter element away we can see this area is plastic and this is quite sensitive because there are some scratches now I have to take this old parts away and first thing is that I have to take this old filter element away and this looks like in that one and always it is good to compare that old part to new part and in now my case this is important that they are same size and it is interesting that this part this older part it is a little bit different shaped in that one than this one but I believe that these parts fits because length this area is same and also this diameter is same this is very important to check these things and also that there are holes in inside and they are same sides now we can look looks good 
they are same size and now I think that I can use this new part and now when I take this old filter away I have to also replace this oil this gasket and seals in here and I have in this my oil filter kit there was inside in that there was three gaskets this is bigger one it becomes in here and then two smaller one but are in here the smaller one and this goes first one goes in that this area and that smallest one in here okay and then there are there is this information that how we install that and there is I believe that some purpose that I believe that I have to like install this first gasket in here and then there is information that those two lines in here I believe that yes in this oil filter there are two lines in here and they means that those two lines what are in this my picture they must be in that level look it means that this my filter element when I install that in here this must to be so deep now I okay there's a little bit it is I need force now this line must be in here and I I press that more down okay now it clicks and now we can see that this second line is in hidden and then this upper one is in position this is critical and I need to actually a little bit force that now it's enough deep good and then second point is that this gasket it must to be in this second row in this cover and now we can see that this my old gasket is in okay second row yeah good and now I have to install this my black gasket in same position and I need one tool next now I need this sharp head hook tool because I have to take that old one away in this way I, I carefully I move that away in that point now I can compare that they are same size and this is new one and now when I install this new one it is good to install in here a little bit grease now now we check that we are just in the second row in here now I install that in here and there is small dent also like in information that in this position this my gasket goes and this is really critical now I rotate this my gasket in this position good and then I check that it is nicely in this way and now I I recommend that we use our oil can and I install in their oil in this way because this purpose is to lubricate this my gasket really well when I install this I press that switch and then oil goes in here good and then a little bit finger and now this my these threads are lubricant good and then I have in here two other these caskets one of in here and again this tool is very easy now I, I rotate that old gasket away 
and there is new gasket and there is only one line in here good and also in that area it is good to install this engine oil this is oil is like mobile one engine oil in here okay good and then a little bit finger things and then final part put this in the smallest smallest gasket and this is tight okay let's do it again there is this old gasket and then I install this new gasket in this position good and now it's in position and then we check that all of these gaskets they are good and we can look closer okay and now we can check that all gaskets are okay this is this bigger one and like in row two of these thread holes in here and then second bigger gasket is in here and it is also nicely and then final gasket it looks like that one and then final check is that we check that when there are those two black lines that the second line is in same level like in here and also we can see that this part where are those shape they are in this position good and now I believe that everything is fine and we can go to install this part back to engine there is really this my oil filter hole and please please be careful that do not drop anything sand or dirt is inside in here that area is good to be also protect and now when I have installed this new filter and those three caskets and also filter is enough deep in here now I can carefully install that this part in here and now it goes nicely and firstly I can rotate this my filter so deep then I, then I can rotate this with my fingers okay and then I need again this my tool and rinse and I installed my tool in here and then closing direction is in this way now I use my and now I use this my rinse so long then, then there is no any any big force now it rotates easily and let's go to look closer this purpose is to rotate this cover so long that it's like stops now it stops now it's stopping position now when this rotation stops now I need to take this torch friends tool in my hand okay and here is really this my torch friends tool and now I check that there is 20 newton meters this force in the scale and then I need also this one adapter because now this my torch wrench tool is like a little bit bigger this socket size and now I have in there specific adapter for fits in the smaller size this my bar and now I install my torch wrench tool and now I rotate this my torch brands so much that, that there's 20 20 okay and now it seems that there is already 20 in this force because now this my tool says that there is enough force and we can look this my amounts in here you can see in this my digital scale that that this 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 my tool says that there is force 22 
and it says also the sound signal that now there is enough this torch in this oil filter cover. Then this final step is that I need to take this my parts away and this is critical critical thing because now this cover it is in this sorry this opening tool is in in my case this is stuck stuck in there. And now in my case this my tool is in, in here stuck this steel oil filter cover opening tool and I have to take this part away and now I can carefully carefully this is this is little bit difficult thing because this my tool is like stuck and I can also I can little bit bend okay now it opens well okay and I was lucky because I moved that little bit and now this my tool open nicely very nice and this was this my information my friend and final step is always that I have to now add in engine oil in there and then start this engine and I have to check next that there is no any oil leaks and if there is any oil leaks then I have to take these parts away and check this oil filter gasket that what is this gasket's position and if this issue is still on I have to replace all new oil filter parts but I believe that everything is fine in this my oil filter area that there is no any leaks okay thank you my friend and see you in next movie